Okay, so this video is going to cover how to create a sheet index and change the order of your sheets. So under view, I'm going to go to schedules. I'm going to go to sheet lists. And in this, these are the available parameters in the sheets category. So I want the sheet number. Move that over so that it shows up sheet name, move that over. And I'm going to create a custom parameter uh, that I can use as kind of a numbering sequence. So I can manually type in a number and then use Revit's uh, ordering system to rely on that last parameter, that text parameter to order all of my sheets. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to create a new parameter. I'm just going to call it uh, sheet order. And under discipline, I'll leave that common. Under type of parameter, I'm just going to make this text. So this is something that I can edit. And it's not like it's going to pull a parameter from Revit's uh, project information. It's just going to be kind of dumb text that I can edit. So. I'm going to put the sheet order at the end. Now that I have these three parameters, I can hit OK. And so you'll notice um, so that it, it's placing my sheets numbers on the left, sheet names in the middle, and then sheet order. And you'll notice I can now click on this and I can order these the way I want them to be ordered. So, um, you know, this is just a, an example, but if I wanted to set this to be my first drawing, I set that to 1, set A100, actually G101, this will be 2, A100, this will be 3, 102, uh, 101, this will be 4, 5, 6, Uh, let's see, that'll be seven. This will be seven. This will be eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven. Okay, so now that I've given these numbers, what I want to do is Tell tell this tell Revit that I want to order these columns based on this sheet order column so that it numbers it properly. Okay, so I'm going to go to sorting grouping, hit edit, and I'm going to say sort by this last column, which I called sheet order. All right, and I want this to be in ascending order. So now it's going to sort these according to these numbers that I just gave it. Now, I don't want this column to show up in my sheets. So I'm going to right click it and say hide columns. So it's going to hide just that one column. Now I can see all of this. Um, and now I can drop this onto, let's see, move that. I can drop this onto a sheet. So on my information, I should have a schedule for sheet list two. I can just drag and drop this onto my sheet and you'll see everything ordered properly on there. All right, so this can be pulled out. You can make these wider and then anytime you need to edit it, just double click and you'll be able to come in and modify this information. Okay, so there's other um, kind of modify things you can do up here. So if you wanna center these, you can do that. I can select these, hit center. And there's other uh, kind of parameters you can change up here. All right, so that's how to create a sheet list. We can call it a sheet index.
and have that show up in the order that we want. 